Hey everyone, just a small Lush haul for you guys. And no, I did not spend any more money on this product. Um, I brought back some of my stuff uh, that I had like too many of, as you guys can see. I brought a therapy bag because I had like three of those. And I brought back a comforter. Um, I had like five of those. And I didn't think I needed that many, and I didn't want it to sit there and run out of the smell. So I, I um, since I got my order from the UK site, I brought a couple of them back. And in exchange, I got for these. And um, the only thing extra that I paid was 38 cents <laughs> for all of this stuff, new stuff that I got. And um, so let me start with these. Isn't that cute? Um, they had this at the store. And the vase, I just found a vase and put them in. But um, I got 20 of these total. And these are the mom's um, bath bombs. And oh, don't freak out. I got 20 of them because they were on sale for $2 each. And they are right now on their website. If you guys go take a look. I think there's still some available. And if you have a store nearby, I'm pretty sure they have some. Because my store had like 100 left when I asked them. So... Um, the pink ones are candy fluff, and it smells kind of like snow fairy to me, actually. But, you know, they're all kind of the same smell. The white one, my absolute favorite, is this Sakura bath bomb, and that's what it smells exactly like. This one right here smells like, um, it's just like a floral scent. As you can see, it has the, um, flowers, like the dried flowers sticking out of them can't wait to use that. I haven't used the pink one or the yellow one, but I tried the Shakura bath bomb today and it was amazing. I only got three of the pink ones because I can't stand that smell too much. It's too sweet for me. So this one I'll probably let Kaylee use it sometime later. She's a little bit older. I don't know. Um, but I only got three of those and it's really overpowering smell of all the other ones, even though there's more of the yellow and the white ones. Um, there's not 20 here. I have some in my closet. But this, I have it in this vase. And um, I have it in sitting in my bathroom right next to the rest of my Lush stuff. Um, so I'll be showing you guys one of those someday. Um, maybe soon. I don't know. Whenever I get to it. Um, and then the next thing that I got is my absolutely brand new favorite soap from them which is the porridge and I love the soap I mean I, I'm craving for this smell every day when I'm not using it I, I would have to say that I love the soap more than Honey I Wash the Kids Honey I Wash the Kids I only like the solid perfume right now um, but as in soap that I would love to use every day is this one and I just love the smell. I wish I could eat it. I was looking for, you know, the cookie, the molasses cookie, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> but oh my gosh, this thing smells so good. I could smell it just sitting right here. Um, this is the chunk that I got before. It was just like $4, but I went back and I got this bigger chunk, um, $12 and 64 cents, and it was a pretty big chunk. Um, I'm pretty happy that this is one of their cheaper soaps that I like. So I'm pretty happy with that here. I'm going to set you down so that I won't be shaking. But um, yeah, I absolutely love this soap. When I first smelled it in the store, between like in comparison with Karma and with Honey, I Wash the Kids and um, Rockstar, I didn't like this. And I'm so sad that I didn't because I could have gotten that instead of that that soap stack that I got which is I thought was a waste of money because I don't use it anyhow I could go on and on and on and on about this soap because it's really um, it's really soft and is the one that I have right in there in the bathroom is like about this thick and it's really flexible and that's how soft it is like it will bend to your body um, Literally, like this one could almost bend if I pull it, but I don't want to break it. So, yeah, I, I I love it. And it's really moisturizing. It lathers pretty well. I didn't think that it would lather that well because it has so much exfoliating stuff in there. Um, 
but it does. So I'll get back to that in a little bit. The next soap that I got was Vanilla in the Mist. I already have this and another little chunk from a swap and I really liked it. So I went back and picked up this chunk right here. And it smells amazing. It smells just like coffee, like like a vanilla, you know, like they say vanilla latte. Um, it says Italian ice cream. I've never had Italian ice cream, so I don't know how that smells like. But if it smells like this, I would love to have it to try it. It's, it's sweet, but it's not overpowering sweet, like the cotton candy kind of smell. Um, and it's not like the very... It doesn't smell too much like vanilla. It has that latte smell in it. Um, like espresso. Here it says espresso. So, yeah, I like that. I haven't used it yet, so... Um, I'll just wait on this until I get over my porridge <laughs> and then I'll start on this because I don't want to be going back and forth and then comparing this with the cor current um, porridge and then finally I thought there was something else that I got but I guess this is all that I got the last thing that I got was Charity Pot um, this was $20.95 and let me show you what it looks like that's what it looks like. I'm not going to show you the inside, but it's a light, creamy, it smells absolutely gorgeous. It smells like um, cocoa butter with, um, I don't know, but it smells pretty strong of cocoa butter. The only thing is though, um, I'm going to have to take this back. I used it maybe twice now. And the last time that I used it, well, the first time that I used it was just on my arms and my hands, just for the smell. And then I tested it out one time in the store, too, um, before I bought it. And it was fine. But today, I, after I got out of the shower, um, I had a bath. And the other only thing that I used in my bath was Ring of Roses. And I've used that before, so I don't think that has any problem. Um, and then after I got out, I used the Charity Pot all over my body, um, mostly on my legs, like my, my lower legs from my knees down is where I put most of it. And it broke me out into hives. Um, I was like itching like crazy. Um, it gave me like this red bump on my legs, both sides. And I'm just now noticing... Um, that my arm has it too. So, like, I'm really, really allergic to it, whatever is in there. And it smells, um, it smells, actually, I wanna show you guys my leg, but I think that's kinda gross, so no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I, I, you guys can take my word for it. But anyhow, um, it smells exactly like Zymian facial moisturizer, and that's the reason that I got this. Is because of the smell. Um, the texture, I think most of their lotions, like Lush lotion, smell the same. I mean, not smell, um, has the same texture, so I didn't really care about the texture, but it was the smell that I, the reason that I got it and fell in love with it. And also, the Enzymian broke me out too. So I'm really, really disappointed. Um, the Enzymian, I used that on my face and it broke me out into like small red bumps. And I noticed that because, you know, when I started the Enzymian, that was the only new thing that I started. I had been using pharmacy uh, face, fresh face wash before that. And then my um, Breath of Fresh Air toner, and that was fine. And then when I started Enzymian um, is when I noticed my red bumps. And then I stopped it, and it got all better. So I'm pretty sure it was Enzymian. And then now Charity Pot, and this happened, so I'm pretty sure that they have the same ingredients and whatever ingredients is in there I couldn't figure it out but it's making me break out and I'm really really sad because I love these two products to death um, I just wish there was something else that I can use with that same smell so um, after all that said after I found out that you know it's probably a charity pot I went back and used porridge to wash off my legs and then I put on some therapy and my itches went away. 
So I'm pretty sure it was a cherry pot. But um, yeah, so that's all for my little haul and a review. Um, and go get these if you guys want to take advantage of the sales on the website and call your Lush store if to see if they still have any for $2 each instead of $7.95 for their original price. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Bye!